What about sometimes when you're singing on stage, you're, you're almost in a trance, and also you have a way of pulling the people in. I mean, maybe they'll be talking, and then the end, they're... What's going on in your head at this in these moments when you're sort of in a trance? Jet lag. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes. <laughs> no, it's just uh, just singing as best as I can, and just finding out where the music's supposed to go. Just letting myself take messages. I'm just having fun, really. Mm -hmm. Um, it's okay if people talk. I mean, it's a big place. You might as well talk. Mm -hmm. What about Grace? If so many people, at least in France, the press is all unanimous. Your records are selling. It's a masterpiece. What do you think about it now? Massively beautiful album. <laughs> it just, somebody gave us a, a, a rush of a, of a commercial that was supposed to go out on the TV, and I hope it doesn't make it. Grace, it's unanimous. <laughs> Not that that's bad, but it's just, uh, it's just the first album, and, uh, and we've really grown since then. And, it just doesn't make sense to, that it seems to have this kind of impact commercially. Mm -hmm. The people who really, you know, like, I don't know, I'm sick of magazines. I can't even buy them anymore. Just tired of them. They don't say anything. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm whining, and maybe I am. But it's just, it's boring, man. I'd rather go to the gig. It, it's. Um, now there will be people who will, you know, will come out with something else and people will say, obviously lacking the splendorous chaos of grace, this new album mm -hmm. falls short, you know. Mm -hmm. and I, I can hear the reviews already and I'm totally mm -hmm. bored. Mm -hmm. just, I, I hope that people just calm down, really. Actually, our fans are pretty normal. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool. They're pretty calm about the whole thing. Um, it's a, and uh, but the media seems to you know the uh, the media the media the 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 rock critics will they've lambasted plenty of brilliant friends of mine. It just shows me they have no taste whatsoever, and usually in most cases, you know, mm -hmm. just totally destroyed people who have made great work. Mm -hmm. And then I and then this comes along and this is all this is the thing, you know. How, how am I supposed to trust that? Mm -hmm. I can only trust my friends and my band and the people that come. What about, for example, you said in the press, I take heroin, I've taken heroin. Is that dangerous then in, in this aspect? Uh, is what dangerous? Just say you're, you know, up and coming. I'm using to get, Well, it's, it's dangerous to give anybody who writes for a medium that's going to go out to thousands of people at once anything about your personal life. Mm -hmm. But they don't know the... That's, that's just a... That's a pinpoint of my life. Mm -hmm. Just... It's, it's not the whole picture. It's not the whole picture of anybody's life. Mm -hmm. It's just very sensationalist, and that's the thing that makes people stay on the channel. And I could say, well, I've just had a wonderful baby, and you know, my kids, and my wife is beautiful. Yes, but you've taken heroin. Is that true? <laughs> well, are you drunky right now? Are you high right now? Are you, you know, you aching for the next fix? Tell me now. Let me see your arms. It, it's not real life. This is, this is on TV. It's fiction. The only way to really know anything is if you taste it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And whether it's me or whether it's your friends or this is the world, you know, you just can't leave it up to the media, to TV, to magazines, to MTV, mm. to feed you life. Mm. It's somebody's corporate fiction. What about Edith Piaf? How did you, I, how was your attraction to her? Her sound, her voice, her songs, her tragedy, her sexiness, the romance. Completely street, she is. Very French. French in a way I, I admire. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it to you. I don't even know what Frenchness is. But she... She just captured my imagination, really, you know, when I was young. Mm -hmm. and the songs are untouchable. Your voice, where does it come from? I mean, is it physical, spiritual? It's just the same place where your voice comes from. I don't have your voice, unfortunately. I don't have your voice. No, I... I wouldn't, what I mean is... It's natural. It's just, uh, you know, your voice is your essence. Mm -hmm. It's the most, ask any singer, it's the most revealing thing you could possibly do. If you're not into a show and the whole band is together and even your guitar playing is like really, yeah, right, everything's cool. And then your voice tells the entire crowd that you're just not into it. There's no way you can lie about it. Mm -hmm. You can't like, 
Hi, I'm here. La la la. You can't mm -hmm. grimace and you know fake it. Your voice does everything. Mm -hmm. Voice gives you information. You know how people talk in two languages. The, the the words that they give you and the information that really is conveyed mm -hmm. through the sound of their voice. That's how children learn how to speak. That's how people know the truth about what people. You know, I love you. I love you. You know, there's a difference between them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love you. You're good. You're great. I like you. You know, you can tell. Goodbye. What there's who there are a lot of dinosaurs of rock, 50 years old, and they've been going since they were 25, 22. Mm -hmm. Whose career do you think is the most? I don't know the word honorable. Who whose career? A 50 year old rock and roller. I mean, Mick Jagger, if you want, or. Uh, Led Zeppelin now. Who's, whose career do you think is the most honorable? Who hasn't sold out too much, hasn't become the businessman, or? I could never make that pronouncement, really, because I don't know uh, what Mick Jagger wants out of life. And ultimately, the people who I'd like to emulate? Joni Mitchell without the cigarettes. Uh, Lou Reed, Leonard Cohen, because still he delivers a song and it's completely untouchable. Uh, Bob Dylan, he still confounds and keeps people out of this fucking world so he can work. Um, and, uh, Evan Dando, because no, all right, I mean, uh, That's cool. no, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know, but, but I, I don't really want to emulate any of those people, really. But I, I really admire them. I, those are the people that I feel really can still write, mm -hmm. really can still have a, you know, they're at the top of their powers, because you don't really need to own the world when you're 22, 23. It's bullshit. What do you know? You really need to bust out and really explode when you're. Yeah, 47, 48. Be when, like Muddy Waters or John Lee Hooker. When, when, do we, when do you think we can wait for a new album from you? When I'm 47, 48. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Like John Lee Hooker or Muddy Waters. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you.